Hi guys, how are we doing? Um, I thought I wouldn't have bone. I know it's been a while for a bit of a video up, but I've not really got much to to talk about. Um, but what I'm going to try, or what I've decided to try, is this Bokashi composting. I've been watching it on YouTube and things, and seemingly it, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You can turn, you can turn things like this and um, all your kitchen scraps including bread, cheese, bones, meat if you want to but I will not be using meat. Um, basically everything you put into these buckets and it's an anaerobic way of composting. You add this bran You get this bran, you put that in, you put your food in, you then pat it down to make it airtight with this thing. I'll probably make another one of these, a better one of these. Um, you get it all kind of, try and get all the air with it and then you put the bran on and then you seal it with a sealable lid. And you, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going until you fill it up. And once you fill it up, you seal it, put a date on it when it's ready, and you put it away for two weeks. Um, and you let it ferment. And basically what the people are talking about is you're actually pickling all this kind of stuff, or the food stuff. You've then got options. You can bury it, you dig a trench, and you put it in, and then you put your um, dirt back over the top of it. And it, within seemingly two or three weeks, it's gone. It's just turned into soil. You can either put it in your compost bin to aid the composting, which I'll probably do with the first bucket. Or you can just create a, what they call a soil factory. So you get a big tub, you put some compost in the bottom of it, you put your Bokashi stuff in and then cover it with compost put the lid in it, put it in the garage, and seemingly it all turns into very, very rich humus. So, I thought I would give it a try. I mean, basically what they're saying is, start to finish, you can have basically compost in five weeks. And it plus how long it takes you to fill it, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try that. And this is just the first video, I'll keep it going and um, I'll show you how we get on and on and on. But what, um, what also happens is, every couple of days they say, what you do is you put that down there, you open the tap and you, create, you collect the liquid. Now, the liquid seemingly is very acidic, but... What you do is you put one milliliter, I don't know if you can see that, one milliliter to 10 liters of water and you can use that for all your plants. You can put it on everything. They use lactobacillus bacteria or whatever it's called, lab for short. Um, which is really good, it's probiotic, basically it's what you've got in your stomach, um, and it's really good for the garden. So, I'm going to try it, and I'll keep you, I'll keep doing videos to let you know how we're getting on. I've, basically, I've screwed the taps in, and I have filled them with water just to make sure that they're not leaking. So, I'm going to start doing this and I'll come back to these once I've got it done. Okay, what I've been doing is I've put some of the bran in the bottom of the bucket as you can see there. I'm now cutting up some old veg and stuff that was lying about. I've also got, I keep this bucket and we put all the scraps in there so I'm still going to keep this and this is still going to be the kitchen scraps but all of that is now going to go in. 
is now going to go in there. Okay, just like that. And then you grab this thing. And you move this stuff about and you press it down. Sorry. <laughs> and you press it down. This is really, really no good. I'm going to have to make something better than this. Anyway, you press it down like so to try and get as much air out of it as possible. And then you grab a handful of bran and you sprinkle it over the top. And then you add more stuff, similarly you do it in layers, like a lasagna. And you keep doing this until the bucket is full. Every couple of days, you come in, you open your tap, you take out the, what they call Bokashi tea. And you use that as a, a feed for your plants. Seems like it can only last up to like 24 hours, so you need to use it kind of straight away. And you just keep going to the bucket is full. So that's what I'm going to be doing just now. And then I'll get it set up and then there'll be further videos coming along the way. So that we can see together if it kind of, if it's actually going to work. So, um, I'll do this, we'll do this for this video and... I don't know, maybe a week, a couple of days a week, I'm going to be coming back and show you how things are going. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.